Hello and welcome to another edition of Healthy Hartford, where we make traditional cuisine better. My name is Chris Riley of Vision Hospitality Management. I'm here with my chef, Robert Walsh, and today we're going to do a little spin on spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, typically, everyone knows spaghetti, meatballs, pasta, and meat. Today we're going to do a vegetarian style with utilizing spaghetti, squash, and fresh ground turkey as our focus ingredients. All right, so to start, you want to uh, get your spaghetti squash ready. Cut off the tips, split it right down the middle. Drizzle it with some oil. Take your pan, you want to put it face down, and you're gonna roast it at about 350 for about 25 minutes. make traditional cuisine better by utilizing the farm to table concept. The farm to table concept is where you source your local ingredients from local farmers and markets. When we use these ingredients, it enhances the flavor of the dish, whereas you're able to enjoy it much more than you would with a processed product, and also be a way healthier option for you and your family. So, while the squash is cooking, we're gonna get our meatballs ready. We're gonna take our fresh ground turkey, our minced onion, uh, breadcrumbs, normally breadcrumbs, white or pinko, we made them uh, with wheat bread. Two cracked eggs. Some fresh parsley, and finally some chopped garlic. And we're using all locally fresh ingredients. Uh, this is way lower in uh, saturated fat. Um, it's a tremendously And the best way to mix it, some people like to use a mixing spoon or a bowl. I think the hands are the best way to do it. And we want to make sure you get even distribution of the bread crumbs, the egg. It's a little bit different than Franklin Avenue. And once we get the meatballs set, we're going to do a, we're going to pan sear them and then um, Roast them in uh, with some marinara. All right, that's nice and mixed up. So you're gonna want to turn your pan on. That's the olive oil. That's let's see that right. So we just get a little olive oil on there. So we're gonna make about a palm size, decent sized meatball. You don't want to squeeze it too tight, you don't want to get all the air out of it. You could also use an ice cream scooper if you're really looking for them to be nice and uniform, but I like them to look rustic. Fill it up. That's good. Because it's not as much fat, they're a little bit harder to deal with. A little bit harder to deal with than the ground beef. But... As they cook, they'll firm up. 
So you sear these for about five minutes and then you add your marinara right into the pan. And then we go ahead and put it in the oven for about 35 minutes to get everything cooked all the way through. So Rob, we've got the squash out of the oven. What's the next step? Next step with the squash is you want to take it out, wait for it to cool obviously, hold it with your hand above a bowl, and then you just scrape out the squash. And you pretty much can see why it's called spaghetti squash. It's got a very similar texture to pasta. It's a great substitute if you have any uh, dietary constrictions. All right, looks like we're ready for our meatballs and sauce, huh? Yes, sir. So when you're plating the spaghetti squash, you kind of want to grab it and twirl it like you would any spaghetti. Put that in the middle. Next, we take our meatballs. And we drizzle some marinara right over the top. Always garnish with a little fresh parsley. A little Parmesan cheese. Can't forget the Parmesan. We're healthy, but we gotta have some flavor. <laughs> there we go. Looks really good, Rob. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Healthy Hartford, where we make traditional cuisine better on Hartford Public Access Television. I'd also like to thank the Connecticut Health Foundation for making this possible. Rob, thanks for joining us today. Always a pleasure. I look forward to seeing you again.